think about. Well, that's part of why the, the various councils wanted to set up a group like Lana CareNet was because was to prevent problems down the road because mm -hmm. they get pulled in situations where someone is unconscious at the hospital and nobody knows anything about him. Mm -hmm. And by having a group like, like ours, the idea was that if people are aware of, of, a West, of a foreigner who's developing dementia or has health problems, that he can be uh, helped, you know, he can become aware of, uh, of the um, avenues of assistance that are available mm -hmm. here. And it doesn't get to the point where he's unconscious in the hospital and the, and the, the counselors have to deal with the problem. Does, does Lanaka have a hand up? Like welcome oh, yeah. to Thailand and yeah. here's some things to think about? Um, no, not, 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 to not, think no. About, not to think about. We have, we're, we have a, the website. It's, uh -huh. The organization is about a year old. Okay. And so there's, some, there's information available on the website. Good. But no, we've not been actively involved in helping people get settled. Hmm. It's more like at the other end of their, <laughs> of their stay and helping people uh, leave Thailand um, in the sense uh, maybe they have a terminal disease. Uh, there is no, you just don't dial a number and uh, please connect me with the hospice. But you can set up hospice type care if someone has a terminal uh, illness. Mm -hmm. But if someone has never faced it before and is suddenly given a terminal diagnosis, mm -hmm. there's no easy place to go to find your different options. But we're aware of, you know, we can help them with that, with end of life situations or in being placed in a, a more secure, structured environment that's still remaining in Thailand if uh, someone's developing uh, mental problems. Mm -hmm.